doctors without limbs. There was no medical conclusion as to why he was born this way, but in spite of his physical limitations, his courage and tenacity of all life have caused him to become one of the most asked for motivational speakers in the world. I'm sure you can confess to that. Nick yeah. has traveled to 78 countries.
to my parents, we are so sorry that you have a boy with no limbs. He is not going to have a good life. But you know what's amazing? Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Have you heard that verse before? Yes. God has a hope, plan, and a future. And I used to ask God, God, what is your plan? Where are you? Have you ever asked God, God, where are you? Yes. God, give me a miracle. God, show me your plan and then I'll tell you if I trust you. That was my disability. You want to know what it was? Mm. A lack of faith. What's amazing is this, is that we are all given free will. I know why I'm not atheist. Because I've seen demons, I've seen witchcraft, I've seen exorcisms, and I've seen an angel. I know that the supernatural warfare is real. Science can't explain those things. I also know why I'm not Hindu. I was researching about different religions. And when you put me in different religions, I'm actually not seen as an equal human being. There are other religions where not even women are of equal value. And for me, I know that my wife loves me and I love her and I don't hold her hand, but I can hold her heart. Aww. And God says that we are all equal value. <laughs> to respect women, to forgive one another. And in Hindu religion, I'm seen actually as a curse. I knew why I wasn't Hindu. I knew also why um, other people had different religions where they have to pray five times a day, they have to do good, and they may get into heaven. I don't want a religion that maybe I'm good enough to get into a place called heaven. Some of those religions guarantee heaven if they kill a Christian. It's very interesting to know the religions of the world. And when I was a teenager, I was trying to look for truth. I did not want to become a Christian because of my parents. I didn't want to be Christian because of Christians. Can I tell you why? Because if you're a Christian because of Christians, you're not going to be Christian for long. Some of us say we are Christian because we go to church. Some of us say that we are Christian because we say that Jesus is our Lord and Savior. But do we know the Bible? Do we know what the Scripture says? I wanted to know the truth and so I was seeking it. I can't tell slaves just be good, do good, and good's going to happen. And I'll never forget, one day I was in an airport, and this woman came up and she said, were you born this way? I said, uh-huh. She said, have you ever wondered why? I said, uh-huh. She said, well, I know. I said, really? And I'm thinking, okay, this is interesting. She says, have you ever heard of reincarnation? And I said, no, what's that? She said, that's what happened to you. I said, what happened? She said, in your previous life, you were a very bad boy. <laughs> what? And now you're being punished. And I'm thinking, what did she just say? <laughs> like, how is that any good? How did she find me in my previous life? I don't even have any fingerprints to find me. Telling Kenya, come to God and everything is going to be okay. No. Forgive us American preachers over the last 40 years who've actually added and subtracted from the gospel of Jesus Christ. God can give you 
miracles. He loves me and I have a pair of shoes and he knows that and I pray for arms and legs. But do you know what I need? Way more than arms and legs. Four things. Everyone say four things. Four things. Say it louder. Four things. Four things. Number one is your soul saved. There is only one resurrection. His name is Jesus. Jesus was not a teacher. He said he was God. And we forget God is bigger than church. God is bigger than our routines. God is bigger than our works. God is big. And He is so amazing and righteous and holy and faithful and kind and patient and all-knowing and all-powerful. Do you want to know why Jesus has the power over hell? Because while His body was in the tomb, He went to hell and took the keys of hell. Not any other prophet, teacher, person on planet Earth ever claimed to go to hell and conquer hell and conquer death itself. All the other people and teachers of other religions say, I know the way. Jesus said, I am the, the way, way, the truth, the truth and the life. And the life.